Bad Grease Back in Bavaria, and we have here today a display from Knaus Weinsberg of their motorhome range. And I'm going to start off today by looking at this one here, the LW650MF, a van which I think is really designed for two. Uh, with a side bed. Oh, we'll go and have a look at it rather than me sort of describe it because it will sleep four. Let's see it from the outside. Now it's a lovely sunny day today, but there's no lighting on inside the van. So it may seem a little bit dark. Let's go inside. This van here has got a price tag of around 70,000 euros. Right, oh. overall view, side bed at the back, toilets over there, but clear room division, largish table, plenty of seats, spare bed up here. Now, uh, come to the front bit first. Right, so we've got a step down here. Now under the step uh, we've got, uh, this. That'll cut, that bit of the step will come out. Uh, it's normally you've got, under this bit here you've got your uh, pipes and things as well for the heating. Uh, but um, it, it, it's unfortunate. Having said that, as I walk through, I can stand up here, I can stand up under the mattress, not under the mattress, under the bed, sorry. So there's at least 175 of clearance, but uh, not a huge amount more. So the question you might want to ask yourself is, do I really need that bed up there? As you can see, oh, it's very, very tight up there. That's, um, well, it's made the maximum of space, but you're not going to keep any covers under it when it's like that. Lovely, airy uh, feeling in the cab, thanks to this up here. Openable skylight and a bit of space also at the top. So you see six speed. Fiat, well, they're all six speed, um, Fiat um, engine. You can get automatic as well. Now, uh, behind here, we have got this is where the television goes. Yeah, television down there, it's a pretty big one as well. No, it's not all that big, sorry, it's a. It's, uh, Starts here, yeah, and finishes here. So it's not a huge television. It's probably bigger than your computer screen. And I know that most people watch these things on the telephone anyway, because I, I look at the analytics from what people watch things on. And uh, so it's much bigger than your telephone screen. Right, now here we have this. So it's got soft clothes on the. So let's give it a try. Right, so you didn't see that, you, you might want to see it again. Now, the, the drawers, of course, would benefit from a side down there. Preparation space, let's open up the kitchen a bit. Now, the standing height in here, where I am now, of 215 centimeters. Uh, so that from here, that's pretty good. Though, as I said earlier, the standing height there is not much more than 175. 
one thing I need to point out, standing height is that there are some countries that will not uh, give a camper van permission to have um, be, be standardised uh, if it has a standing height of less than 190 centimetres. So it will not be classified as a camper van or a motorhome. Leisure vehicle. Germany isn't among them. I don't know the full list of those countries. Right, somebody wrote a sarcastic comment. Keep, keep opening those fridges. I can't open it. Oh, it's been locked. How can you lock a fridge? Well, it's for display purposes. Dometic fridge. Hope you've, hopefully you'll have seen them before. You know, when you get older, you, you could want one of these uh, side beds. I, it did occur to me that it mightn't be a bad idea if I actually got one eventually, but uh, that was a few years ago, and to be quite honest, I quite like the bed I've got at the moment. It's easy to get in and out of. Now, side toilet down here sink here what do you think do you want are you happy to have a sink outside of the toilet now you have to obviously space is uh, is limited and you would need a duck board uh, in there but uh, but there is quite a lot of room in the toilet if you're quite happy with it looking as it does there Thetford bench toilet, bit of storage up there as well. Looks like. And there's plenty of height there in the in the shower so even if you are really tall you can get a shower presumably it's 215 centimeters of standing height and below the sink in here a bit more storage Oops. me. Now, um, there's your hanging space. Now people uh, uh, sort of laughed at me about hanging space but I'm going to give you an example of what can happen. It's really really hot here now. It's roasting and I am walking with a t-shirt on and last night I went to a sort of a formalish dinner so I had to put on a, a more formal t-shirt but I changed my shirt yesterday four times. Now, if you imagine you're going out for a tour, this tour of mine is uh, six weeks. Well, I mean, I, I'm not, I don't have that many shirts on me, but uh, I brought about 40. Uh, and four shirts a day, if it happens, well, it means I'm going to have to get myself around to uh, a laundrette or something like that. The reason I changed my shirt, well, I, it was roasting and you know, in the morning out on the bike, then again out on the bike, so t two lots of bike rides. Uh, I, I came into the reception area so I wanted to look reasonable and you know, this type of thing. So that is what can happen. Right, shall we have a walk around the outside now? It's 
So obviously the garage isn't going to be very big. Is it? Let's see if it's open or not. I said not very big. I mean, you can get you can get a lot of boxes in there. You've even got space below, but you're not going to get a bicycle in there unless it's a folding bike. And lots of people are talking about folding bikes. Getting them. Well, sorry, lots of people. There's one or two people I know. Let's put it that way. Right, so what do you think of that vehicle there? Like it or not, put your comments down below.